Kwanzaa! Hi guys, it's the following day. I am, I could be looking a little bit on the sweatier side and it's, it's truly just because I just jumped out of the shower, okay? I just jumped out of the shower. It is incredibly hot in South Africa. It's, it's almost like the fire pits of hell. Don't ask me how I know that, okay? I've got nine lives. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I'm literally going to, it's quarter to 12. I haven't eaten. I've been up all morning. I got up at around 5.30. This is the thing with me. When it's really, let me move you guys this way. When it's really, really hot, I can't sleep. I couldn't be bothered about sleeping and doing all those sorts of things. So I get up very, very early. So I was up this morning at... 5.30 and I finished off candy which is on Disney Plus it's every time I think about Disney Plus guys <laughs> anyway I finished off candy which is on Disney Plus and awesome so so awesome I think I spoke about that yesterday and then after that I started I'm a big big Game of Thrones fan very very big Game of Thrones fan and I had been saying that I was going to start the House of the Dragon so I was just like oh my, oh my, oh my. I got time I got time I got time it's Sunday the whole point of Sunday is to relax and unwind and that's exactly what I plan on doing so there's not much content that you're going to see from me now except the cooking which is literally meat and veggies. Okay, maybe I might do a little bit of rice. I don't know, because I'm a rice hunt now, apparently. I don't know. Anyway, so I um, then watched two episodes, the first two episodes of The House of the Dragon, and watch it. That's all I'm going to say. Just watch it, man. Don't expect... Uh, Daenerys she's not in it just in case you haven't seen the previews and whatever she's not there she's not there okay this happens 172 years before Daenerys you know what I'm saying so anyway I'm gonna stick literally stick this food into the my, uh, into the oven because that's the best way to cook especially on a Sunday because you just stick it in there and you sit down and you get up to just and then you sit down Pizza yona. Sorry. Sorry. Never know. So let's do that.
and cloudy and cool today ah, I'm actually on my way to church I'm just making myself some ice water and then I'm stepping out it's Thursday I normally go to church on a Thursday if I'm working from home uh, which I am today and so I'm gonna pop into church then pop into the shops and come back home so I need to I need to get the stepping okay uh, I had a pretty slow morning, which was nice. I woke up very early in the morning. Oh, there's just there's just so much <laughs> that I'm grateful for. Ah, man. I think it's one of the reasons why I want to go to church this morning. Because I feel so much peace and gratitude in me, inside me, that I didn't think I would feel for a while. And now I'm just like... 
I'm in my silent, grateful girl era. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. I keep saying, I keep saying things like we'll talk about that when I get home and then I don't. It is extremely hot. If you can see, I'm actually sweating. It's extremely hot, but it's cool outside. But you know, just after you take a shower and all of that, a little bit of a mess. But um, let me head out. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. slices for like 15 bucks joking but like what if what if it's because they're not oh yeah mm. Mm. okay okay yes that's a yes for me Close, okay. So it is much later on in the day, okay. I'm having a little lunchtime, midtime snack. I was laughing to myself while I was in the kitchen because I was like, oh my god, I actually still don't close cupboards. I still don't close. I feel like it's something that I've just. I've decided with my life that I, I, I just, I don't get to do it anymore, so it's fine. 
I live alone, so I'm going to be the one person who's going to have to come back and do it anyway. I feel like my neighbors, when they see me phone, they kind of look into the house. Don't tell them I told you that. In case you didn't know, my favorite... Um, my favorite fruit is a banana. And then shortly after that, it's a watermelon or a melon. Anyway, between the two. Oh! This lemon is making this water very refreshing but very bitter. Anyway, so hi. I thought we should have a little bit of a chat while I read. There isn't any power at the moment. And I'm using this opportunity to actually read. I am currently reading... I finished Lakewood by Megan Golding and to be honest I really didn't like it and there's some people that really do enjoy it I did not like it so much so to the point where I don't want to even discuss it it's about a girl her name is Lena she loses her grandmother and you know things are a little bit tough for her and her ailing mother Desiree and she decides to undergo this study, these tests that are being done on black people in an area called Lakewood where um, they're being done for the advancement of science. But is it really the advancement? Of I really just didn't enjoy it. I really didn't enjoy it. Megan Giddings really didn't enjoy it. I rated it a 2 out of 5. But to be honest, I probably might even drop that down to 1.5. To be honest but it's fine um so what i've currently been reading let me go and get it let me go and get it girl. Uh, but what i started i didn't start i continued and i've been continuing i even have a little highlighter in there this is young pueblo's uh lighter if you don't know who young pueblo is why <laughs> If you're on Instagram, pretty much that's how I found him. He is just phenomenal with words. And I think he is, I would call him a spiritual guide, healer kind of person. He really talks about such important things when it comes to just life and growth and healing and love and loss and trauma and spirituality. My goodness, I don't know. But Lita is just powerful and the reason why i picked up lighter is because i would see him post little um passages from lighter on his instagram page and right now i'm at the section of the book that is called letting go so there's a lot of things that i'm kind of letting go of um letting go of um you know what i thought i had paved out for myself for my future for my life um embracing redirection you know embracing um new possibilities embracing new opportunities there's definitely new opportunities that have come about that i can't really necessarily talk about but i'm going to be speaking at certain events and i'm so happy about this and um there's Things that I want to do uh, in terms of like hosting a workshop and things like that when it comes to mental health but that's 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 for mental health awareness month okay okay <laughs> um, so there's a lot of things that have been happening quietly in the background because I've been saying that I'm in my silent girl era right as much as I'm in my silent girl era I'm working I'm pushing work I'm taking on new clients which is I'm just so blessed about that if you didn't know I am a mental health and self-development life coach and I've been doing it for well over I don't know a year and a half now I think and I have been I just find that it's a life of servitude for me and I am so fulfilled and I feel like I live my purpose when I help others and when I communicate with others either on a personal basis one one-on-one -on -one basis or speaking about the power of mental health and the power of um, taking care of rather taking care of your mental health and how important it is 
it's it's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was actually on Radio 2000 with Ndombi, she's Ndombi Meso, and she had me on there talking about uh, mental health in a toxic work environment. And I felt so good. I even have footage of that. I don't know where it is, but I felt so good. If I find it, I'll put it in here. But I felt so good speaking about that because it's what I love to do. It's, it's my thing, right? Um, so for February and March, if you are keen or interested in maybe pursuing the line of getting a life coach, uh, life coaches are considerably a lot cheaper than therapists, um, but they do very, very different things. Very, very different things. But if you're considering maybe you're in the place in your life where you want to develop yourself personally, where you want to work on your mental health, definitely check out my Instagram page, which is lifebydesign underscore kateo. This is specifically to mental health and personal development with regards to my coaching. Same on TikTok as well. I post every day or every other day where I uh, speak on certain things that pertain to mental health and personal development. So for me, right now, I'm in my kind of silent girl era, right? Um, I won't even lie to you, the last three months or so have been very, very difficult for me. <sighs> two months, two months or so, two and a half months or so, have been very, very difficult for me and I've kind of hunkered down. I've taken this moment to kind of just I don't want to do this, I don't want to think about it, I don't want, mm, mm, I don't want to switch cameras on, I don't want to talk, I don't want to da 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 But let me tell you, in the last two weeks of my life, <laughs> the, okay, not including this week, this week was kind of like a random normal week, I went to work, I did my thing, came back, blah, blah, um, but let's say the last two weeks of my life, I've made such difficult decisions that, to be honest, when I was making them, I didn't want to make them. But I had to honor who I am. I had to honor my my values and my beliefs. And I had to remind myself of who I am in the sense that I know who I am. I know what I bring to a situation, to a friendship, to a re uh, sibling relationship, to a family relationship. And I had to just make some really difficult decisions. And it was a really, really tough time for me. However, I made them and I thought I wasn't, I thought I was just gone. <laughs> Out. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was it was just going to be really bad, really, really, really bad. But to be honest, I found so much peace in these last two weeks. I found so much peace. I found so much. I've I've realized that everything in terms of how I feel and how my day pans out and how you know um, how I treat myself, how I treat my body, all of this. My father is calling me. Hello, Dad. Hi. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye. My dad has had my earphones in his car for such a long time. I'm sick of it. I want them. Anyway, he was just scheduling a time for us to meet up tomorrow morning. So, fine, get I got to this place. You know, I got to this place where I'm just like, uh, whatever will be, will be. Don't think I can't sing. I can't sing. <laughs> so I'm at this point in the book where I'm reading about letting go. And it's hard for me, you know. Uh, it's hard for me, but there's a couple of passages that I feel like I, I need to read to you, you know. Uh, he speaks about, he says, he speaks about the power of letting go and how much it's more... Um, a choice on your part it should be more a decision on your part and not viewing it as the loss of something or the someone letting you go or this and that and the other but the mere fact that you play a huge role in it too your thoughts around that whole situation are so important right they frame they provide the framework of um, where you are your development moving forward so um, he says here, when it comes to you and the inner workings of your mind, no one has the power or authority to save you the way you can save yourself. 
please. All the therapists, meditation teachers, counselors, and coaches can do is save you. Ugh, not save you, child. Let me say that again. <laughs> All the therapists, meditation teachers, counselors, and coaches can do is guide you to reclaim your own power. A guide is not a savior. A guide is simply the person who can show you how to walk the right path that you can finally live without having to carry so many mental burdens. Are you joking? Please, speak to me. Speak to me, young Pueblo. Okay. Another one that I really loved is, he says, let go of the idea that who you are is whatever you impulsively do. And recenter yourself on the fact that authenticity is a quality that requires strengthening and cultivation. Being intentional is the same as being authentic. Staying in alignment with your values and with the version of yourself you are working on cultivating is the fundamental aspect of authenticity that opens the door to the real you. Are you joking? Yes. I love it. It's actually speaking to me in so many ways because I am a recovering people pleaser and I'm an empath and I'm an anxious attachment, okay? And there's many things that really, really I go deep into analyzing and overanalyzing and all of this, that and the other that just... No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know, and I had to get to that point in the last give or take month or so where I had to make some really difficult decisions. But that meant taking back the power that I have over certain situations and over my life. I didn't want my life controlled by a certain situation or a certain thing that I was going through at the time. I wanted to have control over it. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you, once I did, <laughs> it's almost like so many things opened up in here, mentally in here, um, emotionally, just so many things opened up. I found such a huge sense of peace and just... It is well. Like my mom used to say it is well a lot. She used to say it is well a lot. And I found so many moments where I'm just like it is well. But also at the same time, I found pockets of happiness and little nuggets where I'm excited to be me. And I, I fell into a really, really dark place. And I hate to say it, but people put me in a really dark place and people should never ever have the power to put you in a really dark place i fell into a deep dark place until i remembered who the fuck i am <laughs> and i was just like as much as my heart is hurting and as much as there are certain situations people things that I don't want to let go of. I value friendships. I value connections with people and all of that. But sometimes if you can see that they, th those friendships, those connections aren't holding on to you, don't hold on to them. Just don't. I don't know how much you can do, bro. I don't even have a... There's only so much you can do. Anyway, I've been sitting down here for 17 minutes. I don't wanna. They went on, in, on YouTubers ning ning, and they were like, "Yeah, somebody sitting there talking for like 20 minutes." Yum 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 yum. But I try to make my moments where I have long chats actually mean something, right? I'm either talking about a book that I'm reading, or I'm either talking about a current kind of like um, life update kind of thing, you know. So your girly, your girly is all right. Your girly is all right, but she's still in a little bit of a silent era, you know. And I'm enjoying it because I'm just putting my head down and I'm working, but I'm also really finding pockets of happiness in places, in people, in food, in I'm doing the things that I I love to do that I stopped doing so long ago. Mm. It's only in hindsight that you get to realize a lot of things. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. I don't know if I'll come back later. 
If I do, wonderful. If I don't, tomorrow is still a day. Let me drink my very, very bitter sour water that's just absolutely delicious and eat my snack and I'll talk to you a little bit later, okay?